You stupid. They're not. What's nine plus ten? If you are a millennial like me, then you will most likely remember Vine. You know, predecessor to TikTok, the grandfather of brain rot content. Well, people are effectively bringing Vine back from the dead by reviving old Vine videos and adding a little twist on them. They're adding this twist with AI. So I will show you exactly how for free. I know, aren't I just amazing? So we are going to use something called the dream machine. What the fuck is a dream machine? Well, my friend, the dream machine is an AI video generator created by Luma Lab. So with Luma, we are able to generate videos using a text prompt or an image. Yeah, this is nothing new. AI video has been around for about two years now. But what's good about the dream machine is that the outputs, the results, are unparalleled at the moment. So let's get started. If you go to the first link in the description, lumalabs.ai slash dream machine, it'll bring you here to where you can see a bunch of the sample videos that they've created, but we're gonna go to try now. So make sure you sign up for a free trial. It's 100% free to use. So once you sign in or create an account, you will be brought here. So this is where we input the prompt and the reference image, but we need a reference image. How will we get that? So first we need to figure out what video we want to use. It can be any video really. You can find old Vine videos all over the internet. However, I myself am going to use this classic right here. If you know, you know. So then we're going to take this link here, and then we're going to use one of the many YouTube video downloaders available online. I'll include the link to this one in the description as well. And then we're just going to paste this video in here. Then I'm just gonna download this 360p version, very terrible quality, but I will show you how you can increase this quality later. So just go ahead and download it. So now obviously we can't upload a video to Luma, but what we can do is take a frame of the video and plug it into Luma to have it generate an image based off of that. So what we're going to do is load up CapCut. It's free to download. If, you, if you've never used CapCut or haven't even heard of CapCut, what the fuck? And then we're gonna drag our video into CapCut. And then you just wanna scrub the timeline, find a place where you want the AI to begin taking over. So this is good for me. And then what you want to do is go over to these three dots here and then export still frame. Now we have our reference image. So then we can go back to Luma, go to this little image icon here, then we're just gonna plug that in there. And then we're going to tell the AI what we want. So I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I'm gonna do a man in a boat getting grabbed by tentacles. I want him to get grabbed off the boat and drag somewhere unexpectedly. So let's see how this turns out. It's a terrible prompt, very basic, so if your prompt is like mine, leave this box checked. It'll enhance the prompt. It'll add more stuff to it behind the scenes. But then we're just going to generate. And then due to high demand, it takes quite a while to get this generated. A few minutes at least. So be patient. All right, so that took forever. I generated two different versions. This one <laughs> did, not turn, did not turn out well. This one is... I don't know what's going on here. The other one, however going down a waterfall this one will work I, I really like this one so now that we have our videos we're going to download it and so now we go back into CapCut. make sure you're still on the frame that we use to generate the animation and then just drag it in right there to make sure it lines up just like that and that transition's pretty pretty good so now when we <laughs> so now when we play it mm, it's a bridge skills around a corner Walking on the fight inside of me. Well, that don't look like it. Da, 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 da. it don't. It don't go down. Robert, it goes down. No, it don't. It do go down. Oh! Stop, stop. <laughs> Extremely goofy and terrible, but that's just what we were looking for. So let's. Just trim that up. The sound actually goes pretty well. It's not not terrible. So I'm actually not going to do any sound design on this. So now I'm just going to export. So then we just export with this button here. And so now this is good to go. You can post this as is. Just make sure you change the aspect ratio to nine by 16. But I'm not a big fan of the quality. I wanna clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to use Topaz Video AI to clean it up. So I'm gonna bump up the output to a full HD 1920 by 1080. And then I'm also going to interpolate it to 60 frames. I'm also going to add enhancement to make the quality a little better. This video is very old, it's very pixelated, and then that should be just fine. So I'm going to export. So now I'm gonna go back into CapCut, click this little ratio button, go to 
go to 9 by 16 get rid of this and we're just going to import that make sure it's resized accordingly and now i just need a clickbaity caption to go inside of it something about recovering the rest of the video because the original leaves it a cliffhanger so i'm going to do this and then just do something very clickbaity like they found the rest of the video then we just export all right and that is the whole process if you found this valuable make sure to show some love leave a comment like it subscribe if you want doesn't matter the links to everything are in the description below in addition to all the other goodies including the private tyrant empire community it's a free community for anyone looking to conquer their lives to become a tyrant it's free to join but only if you're serious tyrants only i appreciate you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one until then keep conquering